So hello, welcome guys. So today we will be discussing a very important topic from digital electronics. This question has come in gate 2019. A very recent paper by IIT Madras and this is a very common question. This is a question based on fast transistor logic. So here in this question, we have given the threshold voltage is 0 0.6 volt for each of these NMOS transistors and ignoring the challenger modulation and body wire. So we do not have to worry about these two. And we have to find out the voltage levels of VO1 and VO2 from circuit 1 and circuit 2. And VTH is given 0.6 volt. So to uh, get this V out 1 and V out 2, first we have to learn the concepts about this NMOS technology. So first uh, we will be discussing what is NMOS. NMOS is a three terminal device here gate, source and drain. Source and drain are interchangeable because this is a symmetric device. So uh, in NMOS or PMOS, uh, this is a symmetric device, you can switch source and drain and by this here we can see also. So this is gate, N plus source or drain, well, let's call it as drain and this as source. This is SiO2 here. This is the metal oxide O of this MOS, and these are semiconductors SS, and this is metal or polysilicon. Polysilicon. Here, to, for MOSFET to be conducting, here uh, a channel needs to be formed between source and drain, so that because this is P substrate, and this is N, this is N. This has electrons. This has electrons, and this has holes. So, so the conductivity cannot be done unless we uh, form a channel uh, here. So that current can be flown through drone drain to source or source to drain interchangeably. So here we will be learning through different cases what happens and when NMOS conducts. So first this is case one. So let us assume our threshold voltage is one volt. And so this is our NMOS. So this has a threshold voltage as one volt. So here we have applied a uh, five volt at the gate. This is gate of this NMOS. We have applied five volt. And here let us assume this is drain and this is zero volt and we are calculating what will be the voltage at the source terminal of this MOSFET. We have uh, we have uh, attached a capacitor to see the source voltage but uh, it will not affect the circuit. Just to understanding, understand this we have to uh, add this capacitor C1. Uh, so when we apply 5 volt to the gate of this MOSFET uh, and here we are grounding, there is no voltage. So uh, in MOS, uh, for to note this point for NMOS to be on the gate to source voltage has to be greater than equal to the B threshold voltage of this MOSFET. So threshold voltage is 1 volt. So B gate to source has to be greater than equal to 1 volt here. And here we can see that the VGS here is um, this is capacitor and the, the capacitor is initially discharged so it is 0 volt so VGS is 5 volt here. That means uh, VGS is, the NMOS will be on. But will it conduct what will be the capacitor voltage? So it will not conduct because there is no voltage at the gate. For MOSFET to be conducting, the channel has to be formed. Here, channel will be forming because the gate to source voltage is greater than V threshold voltage. But uh, here, the conduction will be zero because the drain voltage is zero. For MOSFET to be conducting, there has to be some drain voltage so that the current can flow through drain to source. Here, ID will be zero. We can uh, calculate it from equations also, like mu and Cox at W over L, um, VTS minus VTH into VTS minus VTS square by 2. So here uh, we can see it is linearly dependent on VTS. VTS here is 0 volt because the source voltage is 0. This is source and this is drain. VD equal to 0 and VD is equal to 0. So here if we put 0 and this also 0. So the drain current is 0. So the capacitor will not charge. It will, it will be in the discharge state only. Right. So this is about case 1. Case 1 is when VG we have applied some drain, drain voltage. Uh, but the drain, uh, sorry, gate voltage, but the drain voltage is zero. So here, no conduction and no capacitor charge will be there. Here, now, case two. Case two, an interesting case. We have seen that the VTH threshold voltage of this MOSFET is one volt, right? So we have applied some gate voltage to it, five volt. Let us assume we, we will apply five volt to all these MOSFETs. So here, the drain voltage is three volt, not equal to zero, but greater than zero. So will this uh, NMOS, uh, will this NMOS be on? So first we will assume that the source is, the capacitor is discharged properly and the source voltage is 0 volt. Right, source voltage is 0 volt. So what is VGS here? VGS is equal to 5 minus 0. VGS is equal to VG minus PS. 5 minus 0 equal to 5 volt. So it is greater than P threshold which is 1 volt. That means NMOS is on. Channel will form, NMOS is on. And, and uh, the drain voltage is also greater than 0. That means there will be an, there will there is a conducting path and there is some voltage applied at the drain. So the capacitor uh, starts charging. So how will this capacitor charge? First it will be at it, it is at zero volt. 
then from 0 volt then it will be at 1 volt at 2 volt then at 3 volt so it will charge up to 3 volt the maximum voltage at the drain why because for MOSFET to be on VGS it has to be greater than 1 volt here the difference between VT drain and source are interchangeable in a MOSFET so here this is 2 volt and after charging also this is 2 volt which is greater than equal to 2 volt that means the main MOS will be on and it will conduct current throughout these 3 volts and it is charging up to 3 volt this is the final output here 3 volt right okay good so then we will be moving to case number 3 case number 3 is that is a bit tricky because because here the drain voltage is 5 volt and the gate voltage is also 5 volt and we have to decide the peak is so now here we can see how much is this um, here VD equal to 5 volt VD equal to 5 volt how much this is this difference this is 0 volt but we know that MOSFET to be on VGS has to be greater than VT here 1 volt so here the will the MOSFET be on if this is uh, source no so we have to consider it as source and here how much is source 0 volt right that means VGS here equal to initially VGS is 5 minus 0 5 volt minus 0 volt equal to 5 volt greater than VT so it was on initially now this is initial case when this is equal to 0 volt capacitor is discharge in mos on so there will be some part between these two and current will start flowing to in mos to the capacitor and the capacitor will be getting charged so we, we, uh, how much it will charge so from 0 volt it, is, it can go to 1 volt right then the, if this is source equal to 1 volt then also so here let me write it properly 0 volt to 1 volt so if V S equal to 1 volt then how much is VGS? VGS is 5 minus 1 volt equal to 4 volt which is greater than VT that means NMOS is on still then that means it will charge charge up to how much 2 volt 2 volt then what is VGS here? VGS is 5 minus 2 volt 3 volt greater than VT NMOS on 3 volt how much is VGS? 2 volt which is greater than VT on charge then 4 volt 4 volt how, how much VGS we are getting? VGS we are getting 4 volt 5 minus 1 which is 1 volt so it is equal to VT that means here if this goes beyond 4 volt then the VGS will be less than 1 volt so then the gain mass will be off so VGS greater than 1 volt less than 1 volt the gain mass will turn off we have to keep this point in very very clear here VT is it is greater than VT greater than it is equal to VT here this is the the inverse will be off so how much it will charge it will charge up to 4 volt because if it is 4.0001 then also vgs will be less than 1 volt and the inverse of inverse which is the offset so it cannot surpass the 4 volt so it will be charged up to 0 to 4 volt the final value of the output here is uh, 1 for uh, 4 volt so here we can see that uh, this goes up to 4 volt and VG is 5 volt, VT is 5 volt and this is 4 volt because here this is 0 so to, for the inverse to be on it has to be 1 volt otherwise if this because source and drain are interchangeable so this has 0 volt but this 1 volt can keep it on so this will charge up to 4 volt so now we'll see one interesting point so here the same MOSFET the same condition here we are applying 5 volt to drain and to source we are we are checking whether it is correct or not whether it can reach 4.5 volt or not so here uh, if this is source let us assume because source, are drain, source and drain are interchangeable in MOSFET so let us assume this is source let V is equal to 5 volt so VG is equal to how much 0 volt but here we know VT equal to what 1 volt that means VGS is less than VT that means NMOS is off so here from this part the VGS is less than VT but as source are drain and interchangeable so we can see from here also so if this is source so how much is how much can this be gone so this cannot go to 4.5 volt this can only go to 4 volt then only it can conduct and charge up to 4 volt so this cannot reach 4 volt so the conclusion here is the conclusion so this is the same in MOS if we apply VDD to drain so sorry to get and to drain this also VDD so how, how much will we get at the source how much in capacitor can it be charged it will charge up to the output equal to VDD minus VT and this, this VT will uh, turn on the MOSFET 
that's why we need this pretty very important point vbi very important point keep this in mind and so here for nmos this is exclusive to nmos for vmos this is opposite so for nmos we can see that it has weak pull up so what we what do we mean by pull up pull up means if we apply the highest voltage to this drain node how much the source node can go up to so weak pull up means the nmos can't go up to can't go up to dd this will only go up to bdd minus dd can't go up to bdd this is the final bdd minus dd but it has strong pull down but here we will not need it strong pull down means uh, if we apply 0 to 0 volt to bd then the source will have also 0 volts we have seen from here uh, here we have applied 0 volts and the source has gone to what is 0 volt now back to our problem from 2019 paper here the same problem nmos has a weak pull up so if we apply 3 volt here and 3 volt here that means that um, it cannot charge up to it has a 0 volt dropout here but it needs 1 volt sorry here 0 0.6 volt 0 0.6 volt to uh, turn, turn this MOSFET on so it will get 0 0.6 volt from here from this side so this can only go up to, on to 1 volt which is here it will go up to BDD minus BDD what is BDD? 3 volt minus 0 0.6 to 0 0.4 volt here the gate it is the gate of m2 this is related as m1 so gate of m2 is at 2.4 volt and this has three volts so what will happen here how much is the difference let us see the difference this is minus 0 0.6 volt that means it cannot turn on the mosfet so if we somehow get 0 0.6 volts from here it can turn on the mosfet so the drop here will be 0 0.6 volts so v out one equal to 2.4 minus 0 0.6 which is 1.8 volt so the final v out one equal to 1.8 volt this is a very important problem for here uh, this volt um, this cannot act as source this is drain part and this is the source part that's why it will go up to 1.8 volt and the current will flow like this now our problem number two problem number two so here we have applied three volt but here we know that bt equal to 0.6 volt so three volt here that means it will have how much here the drop is zero volt so it has to be 0.6 volt drop so 2.4 volt which is bdt minus bt same concept now if it is 2.6 volt how much is this drop this is also 0.6 volt so um, this is case number three here sorry case number two so case number two this is three volt the p output also three volt because this are, this already has a gap greater than v threshold here the gap is v threshold so this will be on this will go up to 2.4 volt and this also has a gap of 0.3.6 volt so it will go up to 2.4 volt so this will go up to 2.4 volt so v out 2 equal to 2.4 volt so v out 1 equal to 1.8 volt v out 2 equal to 2.4 volt so i hope the concept is clear now this is a very important concept for gate first 